How's it guys? Mr. Cody here. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some lao lao. All you're gonna need are some lao or kalo leaves, some tea leaves, Hawaiian salt, pork, or you can also use chicken or beef, and a fatty fish. So you can use salmon belly, ahi belly, or what I'm gonna use and what most people use is butterfish or black cod. All right, let's get started. Okay, first you're gonna to wanna to start off by washing each and every one of your leaves, your lao and your tea leaves. Be sure to get off all debris and insects. Uh, these leaves came from behind our house, so it's pretty easy for us to access. But if you do not have tea leaves, you can ask your neighbor. And if they don't have, go on a long, beautiful hike with your family, and I'm sure you'll find tea leaves. And as far as, far as kalo leaves or lao, you can probably go to Times or Safeway or even Foodland, and they should have on sale. Second, I'm going to cut the butterfish. As you can see here, it's having a little difficulty cutting because I was trying to find just the, the meaty pieces of the butterfish. But this section was really bony, so I was trying to feel and cut away all the bones so that you didn't have to worry about it when you're eating your lao lao. Once your piece is good to go, you want to cut them into cubes, about the size of your thumb, and just place it on the side. As far as fish goes, you can also use any kind of fatty fish. You can use salmon belly, ahi belly, hamachi, but those are a little bit more expensive, which is why we don't use it, but you can. The main thing is you don't want to have dry fish in your lao lao. So you want to try and find an oily fish to put in. So as you're cutting away all your butterfish, be sure not to waste or throw away any of your scraps. You can always use that for bait or even if you want to just make like a, a soup stock or something. Anything you make, you can always use and always resource. Um, try not to waste as much as possible. But next, what you want to do is you want to add a generous amount of um, sea salt or Hawaiian salt just to kind of one, tenderize the fish. And two, it's just gonna help add uh, flavor to your lao lao. Next, we're gonna cut up our pork and we're gonna cut it into just about the same size as our butterfish, maybe a little bigger. And we're gonna follow the same process, cutting it and putting it in a bowl. So a lot of people like to use fatty meat but um, as you can see, this kind of has a, quite a bit of fat, but the large trims of fat, I will cut off and that we throw away because we don't want to use that. But if your family is a vegetarian or trying to find a healthier alternative, what you can do is you can actually put in sweet potato, other vegetables like carrots and Oh, you can be creative. Whatever you want to put in a lao lao, you pretty much can. Um, yeah, so there's so many different options. You can put chicken, you can put beef. If you want to put all fish, you can put all fish. But go ahead and be creative and create your own kind of lao lao. Okay, when you're done cutting, you're going to want to do the same thing like your butterfish. And you're going to add a, maybe not as much salt, but a generous amount. Just to tenderize the meat as well and also to give a little more flavor because once it starts cooking it's going to water all of that down so you want to be sure to add a little a little more salt than you would usually add almost there guys next we're gonna take our tea leaves and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the spine off so what you do is you, you find the spine make a little snip and you kind of peel it back, almost like a banana. You peel the, 
the leaf away from the spine. This will help to make the tea leaf a little more pliable or bendable so that you can wrap it around your, your lao lao. Now we're gonna grab our lao and we're gonna place them kind of like a plate. So you wanna start with the bigger leaves on the bottom and work your way to smaller leaves. So because the, the red tea leaves are a lot smaller, I use the small leaves to make this lao lao. All you're gonna wanna do is place a few butterfish or a few of your fish and some meat. You can stuff it as much as you want. The main thing is when you wrap it, it's able to close. Okay, and once you get the desired amount of filling, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna wrap it just like a burrito. So you'll wrap up and you'll roll it. Make sure it's nice and tight and you'll fold the ends over. You can see I put a little too much, I just stuff it right back down. And once you get there, you're gonna place it on your tea leaf. Be sure to have your tea leaf shiny side down and you're gonna start wrapping it. I was having a little difficulty wrapping it because the leaves are so small. So I have to kind of MacGyver, if you guys know who that is. I had to try MacGyver it and make sure that it stayed close. And eventually I got it. Now I'm gonna make a bigger lolo. So this one you can add way more because the leaves are are bigger. But one thing is, so these are a few leaves, but you need a whole lot more leaves because in the end, you'll see why. So a faster way to cook the lao lao is to put it in a instapot. And so what you want to do is you want to be sure to put the rack in and fill it up right to where the rack, the water is right on top of the rack or a little below. Then you're going to put your lao lao in. Okay. You can stuff a few in there, but be sure not to overstuff it. Because if kalo leaves aren't cooked well, it tends to give you an itchy throat, which is not good. So you wanna be sure to cook your kalo all the way through. So the safest bet is to put it anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. If it's big, if it's a bigger lao lao, maybe even longer than that. Since we have two small lao laos, we'll just leave it at 50 minutes. Four more minutes. Get that goodness. Looks so oh no. Mmm. All I'm missing is the rice and chili pepper water. Well guys, I hope you guys can follow this recipe and hopefully you and your family can Make lao laos, it's something that we did growing up. We have all the parents cutting and prepping and all the kids would wrap it up and fill them and we would steam them. Great thing is with Instapots, it's only an hour instead of four to five. So enjoy guys, I'm gonna eat this for dinner.